Hey, what's going on? Handyman Miller here. All right, I'm going to show you how to figure out how many cubic feet your microwave is. Uh, I, I'm thinking about getting a new microwave, so um, I want to know how many cubic feet my old microwave is. So when I go to shop at Walmart or Amazon or wherever to get my new microwave, I need to know how many cubic feet it is. So I have the same size. I don't get something too small or too big. So it's a very easy code. I looked it up on Google. Basically, you're going to measure the length by the width by the height in inches. The length times the width times the height and divide it by 1,728. And I have my trusty 1980s calculator. It's a real old calculator. I uh, left my other cell phone upstairs, so I'm going to have to settle with that and the divide button on this kind of stick, so we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. Um, I have to get my measuring tape, so give me one second. Okay, I got my handy dandy measuring tape here, so let's go ahead and begin. Here's the inside of my microwave. Okay, first it says the length. So the length of, it, it, and this is going to be of the interior of the microwave. And my length is going to be 13 inches. So we're just going to write that down on our paper here. 13. Next is going to be the width, which is going to be from front to back, and that is going to be 13. from front to back, that is also 13 inches. So we got 13 times 13 times, now we got the height, the height is going to be Uh, we'll say nine. Yeah, I mean this doesn't have to be exact. It's a, it's it's like eight and a half, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not going through all that trouble. So we're gonna say nine for the uh, height there. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our code here. Let me turn on my uh, trusty old old calculator. Okay, so we got. 13 times 13 times 9 equals 1,521. Now we divide that by, if, if my divide button will work. So let me break this down here. 1,521 in case if I have to do this over again. We're taking 1,521 inches, or, yeah, 1,521 inches, divided by 1,728 equals 0 0.8802083. So, basically, it's going to be 0.88 cubic feet. 0 0.8 cubic feet. So, when I'm shopping, I'm, I'm probably going to get like one cubic feet or something. I'll probably get, the next time I buy a microwave, I'm going to get something a little bit bigger. So, that's what I'm, I'm going to do. So, there's all my information there. Length times the width times the height, all in inches, divided by 128. That's all you got to do. And also, um, your microwave says a lot about your health. And if you need to clean it, if it's if it's dirty and disgusting, like mine was the other day, you, you take a bowl, fill it up with water, put it in the microwave, and put it in there for as long as it takes to boil the water, which might be like four minutes or something like that. 
and, and, and let it boil and bubble in there for a while. Then when you take it out, everything is going to be all steamy. All the walls are going to be all steamy with the steam from the water. And then all you do is you take, you take your normal dishcloth, nice clean dishcloth, and wipe it out. It'll make all that crud easy to come off. So anyway, that's all I got for today. I hope you guys have a happy holiday if you celebrate. And I will catch you later. Thanks.